We're back, baby. Like I said, big things came. We just got our shipment from Corals Anonymous. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Like I said, baby, we are back. We just got the shipment from Coral Anonymous. We got it. We did the classic, you know, they're like, hey, let's reach out. We paid them, they give us Coral. It's crazy how life works sometimes. But right now we're gonna open up the box. I think we got about 10 pieces. They had a pretty decent sale on, so let's see how they look. First unboxing. So at a first glance, it's packaged quite nicely. It's very insulated. Ooh, they sent us a note. <clears throat> oh, it's a dead on arrival policy. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Some frequently asked questions. Free $15 gift card. That's because they knew, they knew. And they give you a little invoice and a discount code. Oh, that's pretty nice of them. Okay, so and as you can see, pretty good start. I like how they sent us all this stuff. But let's open it up. Nicely insulated packaging. I'll give you guys a little view. So you can see, pretty solid. Ooh. There's some big bags of coral. Holy moly. Oh, nice. They packaged everything individually and some of the LPS they put in its own container. That's actually a great move, if I say so myself. So now, we're gonna do some movie magic and come back once it's all out of the packaging. And here's the lineup, baby. They actually numbered all of the bags to match up with the invoice sheet, which is awesome. And the best part, they sent us a free one. Let's go. Okay, so they've been floating for about 15 to 20 minutes now just to get their temperature to be about 78 degrees. And now I'm gonna take them all and put them into our little bucket and start chip acclimating them. So check back with us once they're in the bucket. So here we have them drip acclimating. And honestly, at first glance, I'm not very happy with the quality at all. For example, this is supposed to be a two-headed torch. It does not look too polyp at all. Look at it. It looks like one pop that's mid split, which is the worst time to ship because then that's how my other one died. So I don't know. Also the mini torch has a bunch of receding tissue on it. So I'm gonna see how they look in the tank, but at first glance, not a happy customer. We'll see how it goes though. And now you're gonna see the best part, some sexy B-roll of us putting the corals into the tank. We always do this voiceover sped up because if you heard it, you'd be like, what are these guys doing? We argued the whole time, but it, it's all in good fun. We just try to find the best place to put all these corals and really get them into the tank, make sure they're happy and healthy, and then we'll cut back to when they're in there. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? We're back, and here, I'm gonna give you my honest feedback of Corals Anonymous. The corals have been in my tank for about a week now, so they've got a little used to it. The clip I'm gonna show you in a little bit is them at like 10.30 at night, so they're gonna be a little retracted, but overall, the corals were Okay, the way I like to think of it is if you went to KFC expecting super high value chicken, you're not gonna get that, but you're gonna get decent chicken for what you pay for. And that's exactly that. Corals Anonymous, I felt their prices were super fair and the corals reflected that. They weren't anything spectacular, they didn't blow my mind away, but they're okay corals. The one thing that did happen though is when I ordered it, I ordered a two polyp Aussie head torch and they sent me a single polyp. And when I got it, I was actually kind of mad because I was like, I didn't want this. There's like no stock to the torch. But then I spoke to Russell on the phone and let me tell you, Corals and Arms, if you're watching this, you have the best customer service I have ever dealt with. They were A1, this guy helped me with everything. He was on the phone with me that day, accommodated my order and we got it sorted out. So that was fantastic. Thank you very much for that. But without further ado, let's jump right into the tank and I'll show you what I'm talking about with how they look. Coming out of the gates here, we have the two coils that I actually like the most. The first is the Aussie Purple Tip Torch, and the one behind it is the Indotoxic Splatter Branching Hammer Coral. And like I said, both these guys are beautiful. They opened up quite nicely in my tank. The Aussie Torch, obviously I talked about the issue with it. Oh, what's up, Tony too? 
But other than that, they are really gorgeous pieces of coral. I love the extension they get. They get really nice colors. So, so far, pretty good start. Man, the camera is loving Tony today. But here are two more of the corals that I got. On the left is the mini gold Cristada torch. And then on the right, I accidentally ordered two Indo splatter hangers, but again, awesome coral. I'm gonna talk about the mini torch. It's okay. It wasn't what I was expecting. Obviously mini torch, mini pops, but it doesn't really like wow me at all. It just kind of looks like a little mushroom. So kind of cool. Maybe that was my mistake, but the coral looks all right. These guys were six out of 10, I would say. And then coming in last for a reason are these two guys. The one is a Arctic Acan and the other is just a neon green candy cane. The Acan I was supposed to get was an orange rainbow interstellar Acan and this thing looked amazing, but then they didn't have it at all. So then they sent me this guy instead, which honestly, thumbs down, I don't really like it. And then the neon green candy cane, it's okay. It's not my favorite coral in the world, but overall, Everything was decent, not amazing, but it's just like the chicken example. You get what you pay for. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I, I need money for fish. <laughs>